the summit has helped us to review uh, one of the very important uh, uh, booklets that will guide the whole Pacific country uh, region in terms of uh, school leadership. Uh, so I think it has been a valuable um, uh, summit uh, and also the experience that we got from it. output is to have a reviewed uh, uh, regional school leadership standards uh, and that uh, review school leadership standards supposed to reflect the current changes in education dynamic that we have in the Pacific which uh, we are not isolated from the changes around the globe in terms of education arena uh, so we want to keep up uh, to pace with the changes across the world. And also, um, we have been facing a lot of uh, climate uh, uh, impact, and also uh, there are uh, lots of other issues that might not be, uh, have been addressed in the, in the current standard, because the standard has been 10 years old, and uh, there has been a lot of things that were not addressed then in the, in the current standard. So we need to have it reviewed so that we can build in what's not been there and especially uh, capturing the uh, important and new changes that are happening now uh, in terms of school leadership uh, uh, roles. It is important to have a standard that is up to date uh, that is uh, in line with the current changes happening around the globe, that is in line with the current issues that is facing the Pacific, especially climate change uh, impacts and all the uh, discipline problem or uh, issues that are arising in school. So it's very important to uh, give a lot of support to our school leaders because they are the one who will be uh, directly involved in helping teachers to be able to improve the learning outcome that happens in school, uh, our products from schooling. And so if we don't help, if we don't provide necessary help, relevant help, according to our context and the changing uh, time issues that are with our schools, then of course we'll continue to have uh, low productivity in education, um, not much improvement in the outcome of teaching and learning in school. So it's very important to give all the support we can to school leadership because they will be directly impacting the uh, learning and teaching that's happening in school. Thank you. Some new pillars that have been added in have to do with um, leadership. Uh, that's been missing from the old uh, standard that's now 10 years old. Uh, we are happy to have that uh, added in to the uh, S1 of a standalone pillar apart from management because management is not the same as leadership and it's important to have leadership because in there you can set what is actually expected out of a school leader. And of course, uh, the other ones are to do with the climate change, how to be uh, responsive when there's um, emergency arising in school due to natural disasters and so on. Those are some of the new things added in. And also we have made changes to reflect some current naming. Uh, in terms of teaching and learning, we have made changes to the domain of teaching and learning and call it instructional uh, leadership because that makes reference to the current change that's um, reflecting the changes globally in terms of uh, uh, teaching and learning in the classroom, taking leadership on teaching and learning uh, in the classroom currently.